What's up guys, welcome back. I'm out here in the Bay Area with my guy Burner and we're making lobster rolls. All right, so I know you saw me whip these up on Instagram not too long ago, so I'm out here to whip them up for you live in person. We're doing them two ways. We're doing a Connecticut and Maine style. Which one's your favorite? I know you say you like the butter. You know I like butter, but honestly, after tasting those wings yesterday, I'm really curious to see what the other styles like too. We'll give you both, we'll let you taste them and let me know which one's your favorite. And more is better always. <laughs> let's do it. Uh, right off. All right guys, meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. First things first, let's look at these ingredients. Here we have about three, three and a half pounds of good quality lobster meat that's pre-cooked. We're gonna break that down a little bit, but you wanna leave it nice and big for your lobster rolls. Of course, we got the dynamic duo of the all-purpose seasoning with the lemon bay. We got some garlic, lemon, mayo, sweet relish. Gotta have plenty of butter. I prefer to do the brioche rolls, top split hot dog brioche rolls. We got celery, parsley, dill, and a pinch of sugar. All right, so we're going down with about a cup of mayonnaise. There's a mayo-based dressing, basically. So we got one cup of mayo going in. Unfortunately, I don't have Dukes out here on the West Coast. That's my personal favorite. We're gonna use a little sweet relish juice. If a little bit of the relish gets in there, no big deal. We wanna try to extract some of that juice. If we can, we're gonna add a little teaspoon or so of the relish in there as well. Not gonna hurt nothing. Next up, we're going in with some celery. I like to add this for texture. It's gonna add a nice crunch element to an otherwise relatively soft sandwich. So I like to add a little bit of celery to mine, followed by a teaspoon or two of garlic. Then for our fresh herbs, we have some parsley and some dill. A little fresh squeezed lemon juice. Brighten everything up. And then to balance everything back out, we're going in with a pinch of sugar. Now for our seasoning, again, we're using our all-purpose seasoning. Feel free to use whatever your favorite all-purpose is. If you haven't tried mine yet, you can get yours via the link in the description box. And then the lemon bay, which is absolutely perfect for seafood, chicken, great for these lobster rolls. You'd also use Old Bay if you want, or like a Tony's Creole seasoning in place of it. Break out the whisk and give that a mix. So once you got your dressing ready, this is your main style dressing. We're gonna set this aside and get our lobster prepped, toss the lobster in that, and that's going on a buttered, toasted brioche bun. All right, so for me, the perfect way to serve this lobster roll is with a brioche top split hot dog bun. We're gonna toast this in some butter. We got a skillet nice and hot with some melted grass-fed Kerrygold butter. To that, we're gonna add our brioche buns, let them get nice and golden brown. You have to have the bun like that, dog. Yeah. That's the key. Going in with the whole stick, cause why the hell not? Plus we got a lot of lobster meat. We might end up using two sticks if I'm being honest. All right, my friends, take your cholesterol medicine before you take a look at this. We got two sticks of butter in there. We're gonna add some celery for texture. It's gonna add a little flavor as well. Get that going, let that start to begin. Kind of cook down and get soft, nice and tender. I'm gonna add some parsley and some chive as well. And of course, we gotta go in with some garlic. You can use fresh garlic, minced garlic, or our garlic paste that we use a lot. And then for the seasoning, we're keeping it nice and simple. Just a little lemon bay, perfect for the lobster rolls. You can add whatever you want. A little Cajun seasoning, a little Old Bay, probably pretty traditional with lobster rolls. Give that a good mix. That's gonna be your butter sauce. So we're gonna toss all of that lobster meat in, let that absorb all that flavor. Got more lobster than a little bit. I'm gonna fold that into the butter. If that don't look good to you, I don't know, something might be wrong with you. If you got some big pieces, you can kind of break them up a little bit, but you want some nice chunks in there for your lobster rolls. All right, so for the most part, you got two different types of lobster rolls. You got the Connecticut style, you got the Maine style. Maine has a mayo-based dressing that we made earlier, and Connecticut's basically just straight up butter and garlic. So I'm gonna plate both of them up for you right now, and we'll get this party started. That bun is perfect too. 
perfectly toasted brioche roll right here. Open it up a little bit. Then I'm gonna take this buttery goodness. Flavor right there. Yes, sir. Go straight in there with that. If you're feeling crazy, you can spoon a little bit of that butter right on top. Jeez. No lobster left behind. So you said that the butter style is typically your favorite, right? I'm gonna you see know, if I typi can... typically, yeah, you know, it's just it's more straightforward, but I can't lie, it's just that looks awesome. I'm gonna try to win you over. I'm more of a mayo-based guy, but I mean, honestly, if you put lobster and some butter, you can sign me up. You put lobster and butter on a toasty, buttery roll, it's, it's flawless. And since we got burner in the house today, or I'm in burner's house today, I should say, we're gonna pile this one up nice and hot. Ooh. We're not gonna shortchange you. Man, so amazing. real simple, we got that. We're gonna hit that with a little bit of the butter sauce right on top. Damn. A little chive garnish. Nice and simple Connecticut roll. Let me know in the comments which style you guys like the most. Damn, that's buttery having up. Can't go wrong with that. Nah. Oh, you just put it, yeah, put it all in there, huh? Yep. Yep. And then that goes right on the roll. Gotta pile this one high too. Do you ever just eat both? Always. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to make choices like this. This is the toughest yeah, it's, thing. Yeah, it's, too, it's too tough. To, don't uh, make choice. me choose. Just give me one of each. Yeah. Or two of each, depending on the day. Garnish that with chives as well. And you got the best of both worlds right here. You got the Connecticut in the main style. I had that motherfucker in my mouth water, I can't lie. <laughs> All right, day two in the cozy kitchen. I appreciate you for having me appreciate out here, you, man. For coming all the Definitely way out here. Definitely won't be the last time. I'm down to come whenever you're ready. And we got two lobster rolls for you to try. Right on, brother. Are you extra cozy today? Absolutely. All right, good. As long as you're comfortable. I'm about to get real comfortable. I'm going to try one with you, so come I'm on. not going to make you eat by yourself. Yeah, let's go for the butter first. Let's do Cheers, it. Cheers, brother. Cheers. can't be that. Buttery. Can you be that though? That's the question. I'm about but to find out. This look like I got a little more action on it, huh? It does. Cheers, brother. That's my favorite too. Right there. <laughs> right there. I've been stubborn for a long time. I usually just go for the butter thing. That got a little crunch to it, like you said. Dress it up a little bit more. Yeah. Man, that is good. Lobster roll, the mission make it happen with extra butter. <clears throat> this just compliment my high so much. I'm loaded. This thing is tasting extra cozy right now. For sure, for sure. Mmm. Yes, sir.